Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to show you or rather tell you what is the difference between a cheap mum and a frugal mum. be doing a frozen cross-sectional biopsy on this topic and it is up to you up to you to correlate it clinically let me give you the differential diagnosis both cheap and frugal they love to save money cheap and frugal people we love to save money any type of money saved is good money however cheap people they use price as their bottom line whereas for frugal people they use value as the bottom line what does this mean? It means that the cheap people cheap people sound so bad on huh? cheap people we only look at how much the item costs or a product or a service costs whereas the frugal person will not only look at the price of the product, service or goods they will also uh, balance it to see whether this product will last them how long what is the quality of the product? Whether it is worth their money. A dress that costs almost 200 ringgit is very expensive and a bad choice in the in a cheap person's eye. In a cheap person's eye. However, if you take into the account of the quality of the cotton, the quality of the dress, the design of it, a frugal will consider it as a value buy rather than buying a 50 ringgit polyester dress that you know after a few wash uh, then the the thread will come off uh, then it will go out of shape because of the bad quality cotton number two the chip is all about minimizing spending the frugal is all about maximizing value which means that the cheap uh, they are really these people they are really scared of spending money they just don't want to spend any money if can they don't want to spend any money so in order to fulfill their short-term saving goals uh, because they are so scared of spending money uh, they these people they will rather uh they, they are okay buying like very cheap items on super sale even though these items are going to expire in maybe two weeks or one month or so they are okay to sacrifice the, the quality of the product because all they care about is the price tagline as long as it is cheap it is good to them being frugal also means that you care about the quality of the things that you buy whether this thing that you buy uh, can tahan for long or you know, whether it is sustainable or not even though it is expensive in the first place let me give you an example so one example i want to give you is winter clothing when i was a medical student in moscow russia our winter uh, is not like the winter that you guys probably experience in london or, or australia or wheresoever minus two oh, very cold very cold. Mm, very cold very cold no our winter is minus 35 my first year of medical school minus 35 you know how cold that is when you breathe uh, you can feel the lobang hidung the roma roma of the hidung breathe in and out you know like filtering the air you can feel that it is super super cold where how many long jumps also inside you can feel that your legs are like want to kebas like that it's usually about minus 18 minus 20 every year not the oh, minus two, so very cold. So very cold. No, that is not cold. That is spring. That is spring for Moscow. <laughs> so a frugal is happy to spend the money as long as it has better shelf life. I got myself the winter boots huh, inside with fur. Oh my goodness, that is the best boots ever. It keeps me warm for five years. Five years. That is sustainable and it is good quality the design is nice even though it is initially more expensive than the other winter boots that i have bought but that is the best if you are a true frugal you will understand that even though i spend more this thing one thing lasts me till the end of your medical degree isn't it better so think of a long-term saving think of the bigger picture another example is that for me I'm okay buying name brand clothes for my little boy because I have two boys so when this boy has outgrown it I know that my baby can still wear the uh, name brand baju for me I find it acceptable even if I'm buying name brand clothes because they it will be more comfortable on them and well 
this is gonna sound wrong but if you want them to be better dressed then don't mind spending the extra money so that they can look better dressed and this clothes can be hand me down to your other relatives their siblings your cousin your your niece and nephew use hand me downs lah me personally i think that is the that is worth my investment they they look nicer they they look better dressed lah right for my little baby he is still wearing the same croc shoes that adam has worn like three years ago and it, because they are name brand the the quality is so good they it can tahan lah. So speaking of big picture, frugals have the patience to save up and wait for a better deal, not aim at short-term saving goals. For example, a car. Nowadays, uh, there are so many cash rebates on for buying a car, you know. You buy a car, you get instant cash rebate, 5,000, 8,000. My goodness, that's a lot of money. Why are they doing that? I, I don't understand. What kind of gimmick is that? You know, you can't buy a car that you do not need and then I will give you five, eight thousand that you are gonna spend it on some other some other things and then you have car loan which you cannot pay. Then suddenly you realize that oh you are in a deeper debt that you already were. It's like Gali Lubang for Sandiri jump in lah. So they are quite a catch. They're actually quite attractive. A cheap you will probably get hooked by this kind of uh, gimmicks, you know buy a car free iphone down payment for a house gear get a free tv if it's so good uh, then straight away just give tv for everybody lah no need to down payment put people into this financial scheme ah whatever a frugal will take other factors into consideration first of all when they say gives you a chance to win a car doesn't mean that you will win a car a chance only which is like one, you're how many how many people are you fighting over with? Ten thousand people, one hundred thousand people. That is like zero. That's zero point zero zero one percent way. That's a very low chance. But they trick you into like, oh, you you are in the chance of winning a car, and then you get down payment for a house or whatever, and then that you cannot afford in the first place. Second of all, do you really need a second car? Do you really need to upgrade your car? Is your car really cannot cannot jalan cannot work? Do you really need to change the car? Is that a necessity or is that just a wimp? And if you really have thrown in a down payment for a new car or a new house, are you financially stable to afford a second mortgage or a second loan? Can or not? Have you thought this through? L let's talk about property. Lah. My husband once told me that if a house is really that desirable, ah, the location is so great, ah, the price is so attractive, ah, usually the house will sell itself the developer no need to like put on some gimmicks like oh free free things uh free interior design buy this free interior design they usually do not need gimmicks like that and when they do that then you have to be careful which means that this is not a very good location house or this is not a really good buy which makes sense as a frugal, I would want to encourage you to take all these factors into consideration and make a wise decision for you and your family. The fourth difference between a cheap and a frugal is prioritizing your resources. A frugal tends to be more resourceful about their spending, so which means they will prioritize like, where their money go. Let me give you an example. I, If you know me and you have been following me on Instagram, uh, I like to cook at home. I am prioritizing where my money goes for the 80% of the time. Save the money from eating out every day. But that does not mean I don't totally eat out at all <laughs> because life is too short. 10 to 20% of the time, I eat out and spend a good time buying conveniences and drink expensive coffee. But I do it sparingly. By saving on this day-to-day -day expenditure, I get to allocate my resources to bigger dreams that I personally prioritize more. Like buying experiences, like going for a family trip, spending on a vacation or a family staycation is important to me. Saving money is important. But I feel that you have to be smart about it just so it doesn't drown you or burden you with your day-to-day -day lifestyle. Not until we cannot enjoy at all. Lah. Like every day want to cook at home, every day eat at home, that's very boring, right? Prioritizing your resources. The fifth difference between a cheap and a frugal is the value of time. A cheap person will not factor in the time. A cheap person 
cheap person really does sound bad. Nah. A cheap person will only think that money is a resource. But to a frugal, time is also a very, very important resource. For example, this is what I see when I was growing up. Lah. If you go to one place to get this uh, chicken because it is cheaper here, and then you drive again all the way to Imat to get the coffee and all your other conveniences in Imat, and then you drive to Taekyeong to get um, some other uh, toiletries or whatsoever, you are actually wasting time wasting time in order to save some money along the way but a frugal will probably get all her items in one supermarket even though it is slightly more pricier and more expensive because she value her time although i would say that it is wise to compare prices but you have to take into account the time that you are spending to go to one place to another just to get different things when you can get all of it in one place into consideration the petrol the parking ticket time is invaluable time is the only one thing that you cannot buy apart from happiness and i will gladly spend the money spend the extra money to get more time and not the other way around saving money at the expense of others is not mine so like my like the example that i have given previously are you the friend that conveniently forget to mention that you know your credit card has an extra 20% off that day if you were to spend it in this certain restaurant for example so that when your friends pay you you are like you get what I mean be honest enough to tell your friends that there is this kind of sale and then you divide it fairly or you will makan if you call them your friends don't do things like that ah. so these are the main differences of a cheap and a frugal that I can think of. I've also taken a step forward to stage your cheapness for fun and for no whatsoever reason at all. Hey darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? So thank you for watching. I hope this video brings you some value to your life. And if you enjoy it, I hope you will like it because it will really help my channel grow. Subscribe for more videos like that because I like to talk 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 talk. See you. Bye.